To pin it down to what we're going to do here, basically, the location list will list all the locations for our business, and the employee lists will list the relevant employees for the location chosen. Here, now, to do this, I've had to create the lists on a separate sheet. It doesn't have to be on a separate sheet, but it's a little bit neater if it is. Basically, here are locations, London, Birmingham, Bristol, and these are the staff at those locations. Now, to make this run smoothly, we're going to crank names for these lists. Names are just another way of referring to ranges within our spreadsheet. There's a pretty easy way of doing this. We can get Excel to name these columns based on the names that are already at the top of the columns. To do that, we just select our range, a little table we need to go to our formulas tab, which is already selected on my end, and then within the formulas tab, click on create from selection. Now, as I said, it's going to base the names on the top row within our table. We don't need the left column tick for that reason. Click on OK, and just to reassure ourselves that those names have been created, let's go back to our problems here. First of all, we want to create our drop-down list of locations. And to do this, we go to the Data tab, click on Data Validation, and we're basing our data validation on the list. And the source of the list, as we know, is in the list sheet. So now we've got a drop-down list of locations. Next thing is a little bit more tricky, just getting our second drop-down list. So don't forget, whatever is chosen here provides the basis for what column is going to appear here. Now, just a note before we do this, because basically we're asking Excel to list the named range London, Birmingham, or Bristol based on what's of this list, which comes from this list here, these values must be exactly the same as these values. This time we're going to use the indirect function, and that basically. The indirect function basically allows us to say the range we want to refer to is actually named in a separate cell. That's what's called indirect because we're indirectly referring to it. Okay, so I've got Birmingham selected at the moment, so I would expect to see Fred, Philip, Kate, Sarin, Joan, since what I chose another one it's a Bristol I'd expect to see Harry, and Tim. It seems to work okay. So, what we can't do 